it's messy. So if you want some messy stuff, watch it. back to my channel i am kijana i need if you are new to my channel welcome and if you are coming back to my channel welcome back squad because we don't do gang wheels and that over here but i hope that everyone is doing great during this quarantine because i know i'm losing my mind so make sure you guys stay positive try and play games and do things to take your mind off of being stuck in the house for today's video i'm going to be doing 20 plus things to watch on netflix and i try to do things that i have already watched so that i can give you guys like a rating a reference you know Okay, so the first thing I have is All American. This show is pretty much trending on Netflix and it's a teenager in high school who basically grew up in poverty and he finds a way to get out of poverty and go to a place where it's like they consider bougie and he kind of has to find his way around that and like build his legacy basically. So that's pretty much just to sum it up, but it's a really good show and I recommend it. And if you have watched both seasons, you're probably as upset as I am because, yeah. But make sure you guys watch that. It's a really good show. They're all brilliant actors. Um, it takes place, like, they're all teenagers in high school. So if you're in high school, you can probably relate to it. But you might not, you know. Next on the list, I have a show that we all grew up watching. It's Victorious. And I just found out that we can, um basically binge watch it from the beginning with the girl who is talented the school that she goes to is a performing arts and she's basically finding her way around that it's also another show based off a teen um a teen story teen life blah, blah 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 so if you're like really into the performing arts or the you know the music and the dancing that's a show that you should watch um the next thing that i have is black lightning i'm not gonna lie to you guys i only watched the first season but simply because i didn't know when the second season came out and then by the time the second season came out i was watching something else and i was too busy it's with a father who has superpowers and he's like fighting the bad guys and there's like drugs going around and they pretty much have to figure out how to solve it and then there's like twists and turns and people doing this and people doing that it's just like a whole bunch of crazy stuff but i'm trying to really sum this up without giving you guys too much information so if i'm going fast that's kind of why because i don't want to spill any tea y'all know because if i spill the tea y'all gonna be trying to come for my neck and i ain't trying to do that the next thing i have on my list is cheer and if you are into dance or cheer, which I am, this is with the team Navarro and pretty much it's all the competitions and them getting ready to go into Worlds and try to take the champion trophy. So it's like a, a documentary of them throughout their cheer season. So if you're into like the dance and the cheer stuff, cheer is for you. And I'm going to try and put this stuff like over here or over here so that you guys know exactly what the pictures look like. The next thing I have is The Fosters. The title is pretty much self-explanatory. It's with kids who are in a foster home and they pretty much have trials and tribulations that go on throughout the show and they are finding themselves, finding their personality and figuring out all types of stuff that is going on with their life and trying to basically maneuver into their new foster home. So if you're into, you know, the urban kind of story, I suggest you watch The Fosters. So the next thing that I have is Girls Incarcerated. Now, if you, Girls Incarcerated really opens up your eyes because y'all, these babes was kind of bad. So Girls Incarcerated is pretty much a show where women or teenagers, I'm not sure which one it is, they took a wrong turn and like did something to cause them to go into like prison or, um, or jail or whatever. And they're pretty much showing their ways, like how they get around and how they survive in there and little tricks and hacks and stuff. So if you want to open your eyes and see like what people actually go through, it really makes you like, yeah, I ain't going there because I'm not eating that food that looks like boo-boo, not eating that. So it's like, you know, stuff like that. They really show you the inside of prison and the inside. And some of the girls, they're not that bad. It's just the way that they were brought up so they don't have like, I know there's some people who can't go home because, sorry. And I know this show, everybody is watching on my blog. Y'all, you're probably going to hate me, but everyone in my house has binge watched this show. And since I've been working, I haven't been able to finish watching this. But I watched season one and season two on my blog. It's pretty much 
a poverty show again with teenagers who grow up in like poverty the hood and they're like figuring stuff out I don't know how to explain it because I don't want to ruin it but if you guys see the trailers you know about on my block so that's a really good show to watch especially if you're a teenager or you know just a young adult in general it's a really good show to watch but i know y'all see it but oh my block is a really good show to watch so i suggest that um another thing i got is raising dion raising dion is pretty much a show with a little boy who ends up getting superpowers and his mom is basically trying to raise him to learn how to maneuver it and pretty much stay a child and not let anyone know that he has his superpower so it's really fun there's a lot of twists and turns especially at the very end of the season so if you want to see something or watch something that's more you can watch it with like your younger siblings raising Dion is actually a good show to watch because I think he's like 10 or like 9 so it's a really good show to watch I suggest you watch that especially if you want to or if you're babysitting or if you have to watch TV with like younger siblings or younger cousins or anything watch raising Dion so I also would suggest bad boys bad boys is with Martin Lawrence and um will smith it's a really good show it's about them being cops and uh it's kind of a comedy but they're going through like trying to solve things and it's like super 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 funny so if you guys want to watch like a comedy show if you know will smith from fresh prince of bel-air martin lawrence from um martin they're really good kind of old but i think number two is on there also i think one and two is on there and bad boys three just came out and that's a really good movie baby kids is the next one um, she has her kids and she has to take them along and the kids are not that good as so, i like they have like these little adventures throughout the whole thing and they end up like going through stuff and the guy like, really doesn't like the kids strongly at the beginning but they kind of grow in him so it's like a whole adventure next on the list is coffee and cream this movie just came out probably two or three days ago but it's pretty much with a son who tries to set his mom's new boyfriend up because so he wanted to he wants to get him back because he like you can't be with my mama you want my mama you had to fight me so like he's trying to set him up and everything it's a really funny movie but it's not really appropriate so if you're gonna watch it i suggest you don't watch it with their parents maybe watch it with your friends or something because it's like really r-rated and pg but it's a good movie it's hilarious i watched the entire thing when it came out watch coffee and cream it just came out so don't nobody really know about it but my camera shaking okay. family reunion has one of the twins you know from t and tamara and it's pretty much her and her husband bring their kids back to his hometown and they live with the grandparents and they're learning the new country ways instead of being rich and privileged and all that and they're learning how to like be themselves and not act based off of money and fame and richness if that makes sense but it's a really funny and comedic show and if you want to watch something that's family oriented i suggest that you watch family reunion the next thing i have is obsessed that's my favorite movie on there it's with beyonce and idris elba and she moves into a new home with her husband and then they have a temptress who is crazy and who is coming for them and they go through all these tribulations and trials to try and make sure that she stays away from his family that movie's old though it came out like 2011 the next thing i have is containment and based off of the things that is going on right now i think that they based this off of the coronavirus because let me tell y'all containment is literally where they um cut the city off and they're containing people who have the disease and there's another side with people who don't people trying to get over and do all this stuff and there's crazy stuff is going on and people are quarantined in their home kind of like now so if you want to see what's going to go on watch that it's called containment and it's on the obviously it was on netflix i'm telling you it's on netflix but y'all it's crazy the next thing i have is coco y'all i watched coco in um spanish class the day of the dead and then it has um the boy who ends up messing with someone's uh guitar and he goes back and kind of goes with the ancestors and he's learning about how they do the altars and the people with the food and the pictures and the memories and stuff like that it's a really good movie if you want to learn kind of like about the afterlife if you believe in that or how um latinas and latinos celebrate their family I liked it and it made me cry <laughs> uh the next thing i have on the list is marlon marlon is with uh damon wayne i think one of those two brothers but it's a comedy messing with his uh 
ex-wife's friend who never goes home and does dumb stuff all the time it's really fun really funny i watch it all the time on netflix um that's called marlin and then anything that has to do with kevin hart watch it it's probably not appropriate but it's funny and if you're bored and you need something to watch i didn't suggest that you watch this with your parents but this is teen edition so you can watch it with your friend on facetime something i don't know but y'all might want to watch kevin hart because he's funny the next thing I have is Rhythm and Flow. We're almost done. I have on the list is Rhythm and Flow. That's with Cardi B, Chance the Rapper, and T.I. And they're pretty much going around their uh, their main city. So New York, Chicago, and is it... Uh, I can't remember the last city. But they're going around their cities looking for a new talent. And they're looking for people to uh, discover. So if you like the rap and stuff... Ooh, they be getting grimy on their face. Like, and your mama this and your mama this. Your daughter and your baby mama. I'm like, ooh, y'all wrote this up on here, but it's a really good show. The end's probably gonna have y'all shook about who win, but if your person win, you're gonna be happy. And the next thing I have is H2O, just add water, and that is a mermaid show. And I love all the mermaid movies because they're the best. Who doesn't like mermaid movies? Who doesn't like mermaid movies? And if you don't believe in mermaids, forget you. The girl who's a mermaid, she has to figure out how to be acting like a human and the two girls that she meet, um, they become like best friends and they travel and do all this type of stuff and they're teaching her how to be a regular teenage girl. It's really good. Um, you guys probably already seen this one. This is 13 Reasons Why. It's with the girl who commits suicide and she, everyone who she feels like um, played a role in her suicide. She gives some letters and people are really trying to figure out what happened, why she did it and it's like all this stuff and i think there's two seasons so far it might be three don't quote me on it hey dude his name is literally in my mouth Ugh. okay never mind and then green leaf Ooh, it has to do with the church y'all and it shows you all the griminess that sometimes be going in the church because you know the church people they be messy people so they have um no offense to anyone that is in church or anything but on the show this is how they portray the people and it's basically all the things that are going on within the church and drama and more kids and people and it's messy so if you want some messy stuff watch it and the last thing i have is when they see us and when they see us is a tearjerker so if you want a movie or a show series that is a tearjerker it's with the uh, the five i think who were wrongly committed of a rape that they didn't commit and it's basically showing their stories and what happened and why they got convicted um the griminess of the cops and everything else that goes on within that time and it's really sad it made me cry with the things that the boys had to go through because back then people didn't know their rights or anything so it was easy for them to sign stuff and allow for things to go on so it shows their whole story and um how they survived that and everything so it's really good it's really good it made me cry like throughout the whole thing i was very angry about how about how they were treated and how people how the cops and detect detectives were allowed to pe treat people because of how they looked or the race or their skin color that you um watch it when you, they see us so guys that is it for um the 20 plus things to watch on netflix during quarantine teen edition i hope that you guys like these um suggestions that i gave you i pretty much almost watched all of them except the couple in here but i seen the preview and they look really good so if you guys like those please make sure that you like comment and subscribe to become a part of my family because i would love to have you and yeah stay safe during this quarantine i love you guys i'll catch you in the next video bye Oh, <laughs>